Hi, my name is Fiona Donnelly. I've been involved with the Student Enterprise Awards for the last few years um, as a senior judge at the National Finals in Croke Park. I've also been involved in some of the regional stages and I've helped to mentor some students as they've progressed along their journey. Now, I've been asked just to put together a short segment on what advice I may give to, to both teachers and students that are considering entering the Student Enterprise Awards. I suppose my first port of call would be to advise you to, when you have your group together, to start brainstorming for ideas and write down everything because what may seem like a silly idea or something funny at the beginning might actually, when it's revisited later, might twig an even better idea. Um, I suppose the main thing I would definitely suggest to you though is to make sure that whatever you're considering doing um, or whatever company you're, you're considering putting together, make sure that it's not just a good idea in your heads or that it sounds like something that would be a good idea. You must test it by ensuring that it does address a problem. So really a, a true entrepreneur will always be out seeking opportunities, looking for gaps in the market and looking for problems that they can address. And that really is the crux of being an entrepreneur. So as I say, start brainstorming, get your ideas together, um, do some market research. You, you definitely need to not just ask a lot of people, but also trawl the internet and see whether your idea is original or whether it's been tried before. Um, can it be adapted slightly? You know, we don't always come up with the 100% original ideas. Sometimes you're going to adapt something that's out there already. Now, one of last year's winners, Luke Byrne of Headphone Helpers, he made uh, what would really be quite a simple invention, but it, it solved a lot of problems. Um, his invention addressed the uh, issue or problem that people had when they popped in the little headphones or earphones when they were out jogging to listen to their iPods or whatever. And often these would fall down and possibly tangle tangle up or trip somebody up as they were running. So his device literally slipped around the neck, a very little simple silicone strip and that you popped in the little earbuds through it. And therefore you kind of created almost like a circuit around your neck or a circle um, so the earphones couldn't fall down and trip you. So that addressed an issue. And he obviously had possibly had that problem himself or maybe listened to his friends that had that problem. And he came up with an idea to address that. Now, that's great having a good idea but you must be able to show that you can sell it. So this is where the kind of uh, business brain, if you like, comes in. So I would advise that you start planning your business quite early once you have your idea. Um, there's a lot of advice on the internet as to how to put together simple business plans. I think the main crux of, of selling is that you must be able to ensure that you can make a profit. And the profit really is after everybody has been paid, after your raw materials have been paid, etc., etc. Advertising, marketing, PR, etc., etc. Um, so that's quite important. Um, what else can I say to you? I suppose the important thing is that you must all, everyone on the team, um, must each not only know what they're supposed to be doing, but understand the whole concept of the business, because it's quite important when you get to whatever stage that you might be at, if you get to a final um, or a regional heat and that you're on the stand and you're going to be you know, asked some questions by judges, etc. It's important that everybody understands what the business is about, not just the key, maybe one or two people. Um, so I would urge you to present your business well when it comes to a competition stage. Um, so be prepared for lots of different questions, um, appear interested and enthusiastic about your product and also in your actual business presentation plan, make sure that it's well laid out, clear and interesting. So don't leave out any interesting or important parts or don't kind of gloss over. Um, and I suppose that's really about the main advice I can give you. Keep it fun, keep it interesting, keep it relatively simple. Try and be as original as possible. I would suggest that you probably try and avoid seasonal products. Um, they tend to have a short lifespan and may not show your true entrepreneurial spirit. But then again, if you can convince the judges on the stand that you have spotted a gap and you've you know capitalized on that gap and it will show, I suppose, entrepreneurial spirit, um, 
So plan it out well, plan it out well. I suppose you don't want to be seen as, you know, um, a company that can only produce one thing and one thing only. You need to be able to show that you're thinking of other um, other products perhaps or services that could be added on and that you can you show that you can change and that you're willing to, to learn as you go. Um, so look, all I would say is, best of luck to all of you it's a wonderful opportunity it's a great competition and you, you wouldn't know there might some be some budding future entrepreneurs out there okay bye